Tonight we're playing the quest of key for the NES. Connect gamepad. Yeah, it should be connected. Um, there we go. Yeah, this game is a very old game created by Namco there as you could plainly see. And yeah, I wanted to do a little playthrough or, well, maybe a let's play more like, um, yeah. There is gonna be nothing professional about this, I can tell you that right now. Um, the game is very fun. Let me just say that <laughs> right off the bat. Like, we're playing as key here. <laughs> and she jumps very high. If we open this chest, we will actually take a warp, which I don't wanna do, so I'm just gonna slowly descend back down. And proceed through the door here. That's right, um, on every floor there's gonna be a key. And a finishing door or a teleport. Well, there's not gonna be really be a teleport on every damn floor, but, you know. Yeah. There are a lot of teleporting in this game, and there are actually 100 levels in total. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's you could get through it very quickly if you do just decide to cheat your way through. Um, yeah, I believe this series is a teleport as well, so I'm just gonna skip it, and yeah. Head on in. The game starts out very easy, but yeah, it definitely gets trickier. And yeah, I apologize, but I have no idea what they are saying here. Like, basically, the plot of this game is um, the god has sent down this key here, you know, K I, not K E Y, <laughs> to bring back the, well, the rod from the villain here. A, the, a villain has basically stolen a rod and we need to get it back. So yeah, that's what this quest is all about. That chest, once again, contains a teleport, so I don't, I'm not gonna get it. And we're under the time, 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 time. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, get on out of here. Um, yeah, so the game, you have to move pretty quickly uh, at all time. Uh, I wanted to talk about a few things here, like game mechanics, but yeah, there really isn't much time to- well, actually, now we have a whole bunch of time here. Yeah, so, as you can see, when we jump, we slowly ascend, and slowly descend back, and we can only jump, or you know, yeah, we can only propel ourselves upward once we touch the ground. Now, be careful though, if you jump and bonk your head, <laughs> you can't move for a brief time, so you be gotta be very careful, and see, that's why they put this key here. I want you to bonk your head and get killed by a crow. And you can also dash by holding down the B button. And if you run into a wall, you'll get stunned. Yeah, so you gotta be careful when moving around in this game. The timer we just got there, well, yeah. It gives us 60 seconds, I believe. Um, don't quote me on that, but that's what I believe anyway. And yeah, we can just dash on through here. Awesome, so... Let's see here, we're on floor 5. I'm not sure how many floors I'll do per episode here. All I know is that I will try and not teleport on through the game, because that will kind of ruin the experience a little bit. I'd rather just do it the way it's intended to be done. Hopefully this is not a teleport. <gasps> Don't kill me, slime. Ooh, that sad face there. Let's see. That sad face. She's a sleep spell. Yeah, it particularly it works particularly well, I should say, against slimes. Yeah, I, I have notes here besides me. You said I would know what all the things exactly do. I knew it worked on slimes before, but I had no idea it was effective on other enemies as well. Like, I'm no master at this game. Um, I'm just a very casual player. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember this one here. <clears throat> yeah, um, that chest <laughs> is, once again, a teleporter. So, yeah, we could try and get it, but... Just for the excitement, but we could try and get there without picking it up. Let's see. Oh, and now the bat is gonna move. So yeah, you see, if you do intend 
<laughs> to go for some of these items. It's gonna be harder, and I'm running out of time again. We gotta get out. Damn it, I died. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what the death animation looks like. Now, interesting to note here is when you bonk into an enemy, they will disappear. See, the bed is not up there anymore, so this particular floor is a little bit easier now, which is a very nice way of handling challenge. Like, if you're stuck on a floor, you can just, you know, take out an enemy by running out into it, and it will just disappear. Very forgiving by the creators, or well, by Namco. And another very forgiving thing is, you actually have unlimited continues. The only thing that's gonna reset is your um, points if you die, but, you know, who cares? <laughs> and that chest over there, I'm like 99% sure it's gonna be a teleporter, so yeah, we're just gonna skip that one as well, and I almost ran into the bat there. <laughs> Okay, um, I didn't quite see which floor we're at here, but I might... No, I'm fine, okay. Yeah, but see, it's getting a little bit rougher here now. I'm gonna have to concentrate just a little bit. And is this a teleporter please don't? Uh, that flag there is a lucky flag. Um, you get 100 points for each second you have left on your timer when you enter the door, if you pick that item up. So yeah, once again, just a point item, like, it's kind of pointless. <laughs> okay, terrible pun. Oh, very terrible pun. And am I dead? <laughs> what the? That was the saddest stuff ever. <laughs> hmm. Well. Let's try it again. Let's not bump our heads this time. Yeah, you should probably just dash through there. Would make things a lot easier. And that's the poison. Yeah, whenever you grab the poison flask, your timer will start draining fast as hell. So, yeah. <laughs> Don't pick it up if you know it's there. I can't quite get that yet. See? Wah! Dude, that was... Yeah. Okay, I I'm dying very sloppily now. I, I promise I'm better than this. <laughs> I promise. See, now the game is gonna take pity on me and remove the slime. I kind of wish there was an option to turn that off. I kind of wish we could have an expert setting for that because yeah certain times when you do end up touching a monster you look you know you just you want to retry it with the monster being there still you know you don't want to take the easy way out of course i say that now in later levels you're actually gonna be happy <laughs> that you can abuse that it's gonna get a lot rougher in the later stages and yeah i remember this this here is one of the earlier levels where i yeah, struggled a lot with. It doesn't look so bad, but yeah. I believe that chest down there is a teleporter, and it's pretty tricky actually to get by the dragon there. We could try it though. It's all in the timing here. Yeah, just like that. And like that. Okay, I know you would get it, so. But yeah, we're not gonna pick it up. We're just gonna. Get out of here, please land, and go! Nice! So yeah, I might do that sometimes, you know, just show how... You know, how to do those slightly harder challenges, you know, for the fun of it. And I guess, you know, since I'm playing on an emulator, I could even make save states in case I accidentally pick something up. Yeah, this... Here I remember very vividly. Um, you can... Actually, just dash up behind him, but you can also do this. Well, you saw what I was going for. That's actually the only way to duck under enemies, and later on in the game, you have to use that. You actually have to bonk your head. 
to avoid taking damage. That's how crazy it's gonna get. So yeah, we lost all our extra lives, so we're back at the screen here, but we can just continue. No fault or, well, no punishment whatsoever. Other than that we lost our points, um, yeah. But yeah, let's just stop. Whoa! <laughs> My god, I got a little bit over there. Just, just a tad bit. Get the key. Oh, am I? Wow. <laughs> Dude, that was some troll the shit there by the game. <laughs> Another crow decided to appear. <laughs> okay, let's see. Actually, um, I don't like this. Let's just... Oh, wait, did I? Yeah, I touched the blue thing there, apparently. Yeah, it's not here anymore. Okay. Another noteworthy thing is... Whenever you run out of extra lives... All enemies will once again respawn in the level, so yeah. Ooh, that was a nice touch. So you gotta keep that in mind, at the very least. Like, you can't just erase unlimited enemies and just completely ship the game out. I believe you have three extra lives after each time you continue. Obviously, you can get more extra lives just by playing the game um, to, you know, wrecking up lives by picking them up. You don't get too many of them, though, so it's, yeah, like, it's very hard to make through the entire game on one continue. Uh, I'm certainly not gonna be going for that. Uh, and yeah, this is an extra hit. And. Whoa, okay. Oh, dang it, I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> like, see, the game looks easy, but I promise you it's not. I. Yeah, I hope I get some people to try this game out. It's actually a lot of fun. Like. I would almost say that it's a hidden gem on the NES game, like, yeah, it's very forgiving and very simple, like, I wish more games had unlimited continues and didn't force you starting over, like, entirely, it's just a little bit annoying at times. But yeah, enough, <laughs> enough bitching about other games. Um, Let's see, what do we have here? This might be the last level we do here in this video. Hmm. Nice dodge. And yeah, I remember this. It's pretty easy actually, but if you're gonna go for the warp, you gotta do a U-turn here. Which is easier said than done. Alright, we're gonna try this again. Oh, okay, it wasn't a warp. Well, yeah, I'm very glad it wasn't a warp because I would have... I would have taken off there. Um, we just picked up the flying power-up, which lets you fly indefinitely. You don't really make much use of it here, it appears. <laughs> oh well, we're gonna see it later for sure. So yeah, we're gonna end here on floor 15. Um, yeah, this is already looking <laughs> pretty exciting, so yeah, hopefully you guys are excited for this game here, um, like, once again, I realize my channel is mainly for Mega Man Maker, but I wanna do something else besides it, you know, it's getting a little bit old just playing the same game over and over, and yeah, I kinda wanna share um, some experience here with other games as well, I mean, this channel will always be mainly about Mega Man Maker, there's no changing that, but yeah, <laughs> for now, you know, I did Bomberman like a year or so back, and now I think it's time to do another side playthrough here, so, yeah. Once again, hopefully you guys will have a wonderful day, and I encourage you to try this game out for yourselves. Uh, just very, very fun, and, well, not really mind-numbing play, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't require a lot of thoughts. You just go. Yeah, you go. You play and have fun. Okay, yeah, let's just round it off with that. Yeah, I've talked on long enough here, so yeah. See you guys in the next one.